You win sometimes, you lose sometimes. And today, I won and somebody else lost. Anyway, front of the box, we have <laughs> Donatello in the bright green for some reason, which is the original prototype image we saw of him was with the bright green head. So this is interesting to me. That's the style guide set. And then you get Michelangelo over here. Now, the other really strange thing here is that generally with package art, you get the name of the person on the bottom, but we don't have that this time. Who drew it? And we also have Paul Harding back in the game. So what is going on? Awesome job to Paul and Tom. So I was wondering if Aaron had done the designs of these boxes like he did on the front of the VHS sets. So we did a little digging. Aaron told me to check on Jason Yang. Jason Yang confirmed. He also did the punk turtle box. And then he sent me this, which I thought was super fun. Whatever little pluckies ninjas <laughs> protects is, that's where the guns came from. This was the inspiration for the guns. And those are, I guess, are bootlegs. And thanks to Jarrell on Instagram, he let us know that the jet pack that we're seeing for Donatello is actually used in water from the animation and looks like this. I'll use this if you don't mind. Cowabunga! I really dig sewer surfing. Turbo power! <laughs> so this is from the episode Bye Bye Fly. Look at these sketches. These are the drawings that he did to build up this design. Follow Jason Yang on Instagram or Facebook. Let him know that you love what he's doing. Let's get him to share a little bit more behind the scenes. I can't wait to open this thing up and I'm sure you can't wait either. So just tell me, shut up and open it. Inside the box, we got this actually pretty cool shot of Donnie going through space on his feet. Then you got Michelangelo with the surprise look. Back of the box, beautiful. And there we go, we're done, let's open it. In this one, we're gonna slide out like this and notice that the backdrop is just another boring one. They didn't do anything fun there. You could have done like a split samurai and space thing, whatever, it's fine, I get it. We're not here for the sleeves, we're here for these beautiful boys. These beautiful little turtle boys because we're old dudes. Uh, we can't get over our childhoods. <laughs> this, folks, is what perfection looks like. And I have to hand it to Paul Harding and Thomas, however you say your last name. These things are beautiful. I am very, very happy and I cannot wait to show you all what's going on. Let me brighten this camera up just a little bit by dropping that F-stop. Here we go. There's so much to look at and I don't know where to start. Do I start over here with my love of Japan? Do I start over here with my love of space? Let's go to space first. You got this jet pack, which is looking incredible. The details on this thing are really next level. This almost has like a shell design, which I, I don't know, maybe that's just by chance, but I think that is a very, very wisely done choice. We got to find a big old fat thing to plug into the bottom of this thing. What What is there that is this big? That's a big old hole. But I, come on, we need a big jet pack piece. What's up? On to the next thing, this little like communicator, or maybe it's his oxygen tank or whatever you want it to be because this is all made up, folks. I know pretty much anything is made up technically, but these are made up. They never existed in the show. They exist in someone's mind and now in someone's hands. And by hand, someone, that's me, my hands, they exist. You can pop these things onto the back and if you watch Mad Hatter Reviews channel, you can, you'll know that um, you gotta be delicate with these things because apparently, they can get stuck in there and break off. So you just gotta be careful, especially with this one, which is what he got stuck and broke off. And it went in just fine. So probably just go like very small wiggles until it comes out. All right, fine. Maybe he's just crazy. <laughs> in the box, you get a good amount of hands for space Donatello, like this, which is a gripping hand for holding things that he might have in the box or other things that he might not have in a box. But you get a left and right of that, a left and right of this one, which is a nice just kind of, hey, I'm trying to reach out in space hand or whatever you want it to be. Isn't that fun? And then you get this one, which is uh, clearly a trigger finger, which is going to be designed for, yep, you guessed it, these, which look like this. <laughs> Excellent work. Everything's got black outlines, which you know me, I'm a huge fan of. I love the little gears in there. What is it shooting? I don't know, but this fun space interesting space ideas. And before we go any further, folks, you should know that these figures are designed so that you can put anybody's heads on top of these things. There are limitations though, like with this guy. So let's take a deep dive into Donatello and this beautiful space suit. 
My goodness, now I think a lot of people will probably want to put a Raphael on there because it's a nod to the Playmates designs. The helmet is really cool. I like this design. I like that it's like a half thing rather than just like a full clear dome. The details all around this gear here, this is really good. There's a little bit of overspray on the like creamy color and then I got a weird line there, but whatever. Imperfections are part of the process here, folks, so learn to love it, because <laughs> you're gonna get it. But going through, uh, this is just such a nicely done design. I, I, what are you gonna do? Are these pockets? You can't put stuff in your space pockets. But then we got some good standard joints here. I say good, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't even messed with them yet. So 90 degrees, basic uh, swivels. So not a, not a whole lot of range. These guys are not gonna be your big time posy boys, but now that you don't see his shell, you can do this. So he's got some waist swivel, which is pretty fun. And then uh, there's, I don't know, you might, you can really force it, but you got some crunch there. You can take the helmet off, obviously, as I just did in front of you. <laughs> and there you go. You got your boy with his goggles on that can go like that. So this is the limitation of this figure. Right now, looking at this Donatello, you can take the head off and it's a standard turtleneck, but the top half of this Donatello, which for some of you that are new to collecting Ninja Turtles, you can separate all of them, except for the original San Diego Comic-Con sets. So if you pop them out from the inside, you can actually separate. But as you can tell, this is very much just a Donatello figure because the purple bandana, all this piece, it's all just one thing. So there's no real way to get this onto another turtle head. However, if you have another turtle like your turtles in disguise or something, you could take your Raphael or whoever you may want to use and plop it on there. And it covers the neck enough that it doesn't matter that the color is a little bit different or it's matte versus gloss. If you want to put the style guide set in here, you could probably get the neck out, but this is a good idea of what you're getting. Now you got Raphael in space as it was meant to be, I think. But that allows you as well to use this bottom half of the face, even though this has a little black ink spot, you could use the bottom half of this over here if you wanted to, or any of your turtles that the color matches. But back into the details here, this is actually such a good looking figure. I'm gonna say it over and over again. So let me just talk about articulation where I, I kind of gave up halfway through a minute ago. So you can get some pretty good splits out of this guy, but keep in mind this softer plastic up here, it will give, but if you hold that position for like a long time, then you kind of get this loosey goosey thing going on and that can be a sad time. Double jointed knees because he's got his knee pads. So that's pretty good. You got the articulation through the foot is just a standard thing. So just a, a rocker and a swivel, no big deal. And then you, your peg holes. So pretty cool. I'm a fan. I love it. It's beautiful. Can't wait to mess around with that in the posing segment, which you all are seeing on screen already. On to Michelangelo. I got this which for some might be the only one they cared about in the box because you could samurai build these guys. You could have four samurai turtles like movie, but toon. You get this thing, which is good for holding and cutting stuff and stabby stab times. So be careful if you ever see anybody holding one of those. And you get two of these, which are called swords. <laughs> and uh, they, they look good. It kind of makes me think that these are designed for pretty much any turtle to use, right? So now you've got your swords, You've got your bow staff essentially, but obviously it's not just a staff. It's got this spear type thing on the end of it. And these are all very, I, I love Japanese stuff. And I, all of these have unique Japanese names. I speak just a little bit of Japanese. I've lost a lot of it. My brain has forgotten things, but here we go. Looking pretty good, but that's kind of like your Donatello guy. And then this would be your Michelangelo. This is kind of like a, a nunchuck, but different. This is some kind of something else and a really, really long chain and a very questionable end on this thing because I, that looks less like a weight, more like a plug. And you can ask this Michelangelo face <laughs> if he tried it out. Anyway, family friendly channel. We got this club, which is looking pretty cool. The only thing in here is you just you don't really have anything for, uh, what's that guy's name? Raphael, <laughs> I guess he, these could be his. Then you get, this club, which is looking pretty good. I, I I think I'm fine with the not having black outlines here and the little bumps, but it kind of seems like it should have them. Anyway, alternate hands in the box. You got two of these, which are kind of just that good fighting stance hand. And you get two of these. 
which are good for holding certain items in the box. And by default, I forgot to say this, he's got punchy hands by default, because you gotta punch things in space, classic, duh. And so does Samurai Michelangelo have punchy hands by default in the box. Yep. So we kind of looked at this head for a second when I made my stupid joke. And there's no bandana in the back of there, so you're going to have to clearly take some bandana from somewhere else. But this isn't designed for that. Obviously, it's designed for this. And then you could you could pop it apart with your other Michelangelos. No big deal. The details of this Samurai Michelangelo are next level. There is so much going on in the sculpt work. The paint is fantastic. Of course, I mean, there's always like some imperfections and whatever, some bleed. But who cares? We're not looking at that. We're looking at this as a whole. I expect those imperfections to happen, and that's okay. It plugs into the back where the bandana goes, and anytime you have two pieces of things like rubbing each other like this, you're gonna get these little marks. So be aware of that. If you mess around too much and you have, you're gonna get these like little shiny spots because it, it just happens. Byproduct of having a matte finish and two things rubbing each other. But he's got this wicked, Gre gritty, gre gritty. <laughs> He's got this wicked gritting teeth face and I am here for it. I love this so much. This is something we haven't really seen since the San Diego Comic-Con two packs, which, uh, you know, a lot of people don't have. But just like the other ones, you can take these, look in the bottom, you see that? That means you can pop them apart and have uh, alternate expressions if you wanted to. So there's three faces in this box and you can switch around all the parts and have whatever you want out of there. So you can have a angry eyes on a regular face or worried face, whatever. It's great. Back to Raphael putting his head on this. That looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. It still looks really nice, even though this is like a, it's not orange. It's not quite that. I mean, it's definitely not that red, but it is a some shade of red. So yeah, you can have whatever turtle as a samurai and then you just pop this off and put the helmet on. On to the rest of the body. Again, the, the sculpt work is fantastic. All of this is pliable, so you can move things. He does have waist articulation and that means he's gonna have just a little bit of crunching and he can do some splitty do's, barely, because there's so much just pushing against him, but with a little effort, you can make it happen. And then you got some, it's just a single jointed knee, but I mean, it's not like you're gonna have a lot of range in samurai armor. So you get some swivel there, which is really nice. And you get the ankle and standard on the ankle as well. So this is beautiful. Excellent job. Can't believe it. I love it. I'm so happy. I can't get over it. This is such a beautiful thing. He's got double jointed elbows. I didn't even talk about that. Swivels, biceps, all basic stuff. Let's just move on. We're not here for this. It's just like, shut up me. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Now, something I really wish that this had, much like a lot of the Samurai Usagi stuff, is you're missing the band to go around his waist to hold his swords, which means he also he also doesn't have a way to sheath his swords with a scabbard or whatever you want to call it. Huh. So how do we fix that? I mean, these swords are the same length, which also would be wrong. You'd have like a short one and a long one. There's got to be somebody out there. What do you suggest? Uh, we got to have something. Somebody's got to make this. Who's doing the 3D printing? And who has an elastic band that you can probably get from just about anywhere? <laughs> but the, that's crucial to me. I would love to have that and get him just in this like vicious stance and be ready to attack. I also kind of want a version where you could have like, instead of his face, an actual mask piece. There's a lot, see, if I could 3D print things, <laughs> oh folks, we'd be going way beyond just 2D printed things, which by the way, head on over to my store and purchase yourself some stuff. I got street scene windows and doors that really amp up the NECA street scene, at least in my opinion. <laughs> but check it out, there's all kinds of stuff, even free things. So have some fun. Look at that, it's just so beautiful. How can you say no to this set? I mean, it's stunning. It's very tuned with the colors and stuff, so there's like a lot of that going on, which is very nostalgic, even though this never existed before. I'm, I'm in love. And if I remember during the B-roll or I just feel like I can't be bothered, hopefully I'm putting in a lot of extra stuff for you to see combinations of all of these turtles and how they can work out. I don't always do that because sometimes it's like, hey, just show us the thing that we are buying. <laughs> don't get our hopes up. And that is always a true test for me is can you get the helmet on the waist and you can, it looks really good. I just wish there was a little bit of a curve, a little bit more give 
in this arm, but it still looks so good. <laughs> this is fantastic. And for somebody like this, you're definitely gonna want a good stand. And the best thing for stuff like this, if you want them floating around the air when they're bigger boys, is to use one of these, which a lot of people ask me about. This is a Play Arts Kai stand. This usually, this comes usually clear, but it comes with a Play Arts Kai figure, but you can usually find them listed online. And I highly recommend it. They, they hold the heavy figures very well and you can usually get them, you know, in some kind of fun. Anyway, there you go, folks. Uh, is Should you buy it? Yes, obviously. They're $59.99 if you need to know the price. Depending on when this video came out, hopefully you can get them April 12th online. If you're international, it's gonna be holothon.com, also April 12th. But holothon online starts the 12th and then it's supposed to go like every Friday for I don't know how many weeks. So you might not get these guys in week one. I don't know, just keep, keep an eye out. Watch this channel, I'll tell you, <laughs> as much as I remember to. Anyway, if you enjoyed this review and you wanna see some more from this wave of Holothon, then click the top video there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.